Joe's Baba Talent Workshop, FTD, WU, a subsidiary of Prefim Academy, comes up with the 2024-2025 academic session of various categories of filmmaking and purpose discovery courses. The FTW over the years has been a formidable platform built by God for the advancement of his cause here on earth. This year's edition will be offering basic, advanced, and professional diploma programs in faith-based filmmaking. Come and have a date with your maker as participants do at the powerful encounter clinics and prayer quakes. The workshop is also open to children of ages 10 and above. Hurry now and enroll for the first semester of this session. Hold it between April 6 and 14, 2024. Cost fee at the entry level, which is for basic certificate, is 30,000 naira only. Children's cost fee is 15,000 naira only. This covers for tuition, accommodation, and the cost pack. Food is available for sale on campus at affordable price. Then you is LaSalle College, Haribabola, Ondo City, Ondo State, Nigeria. Yeah. Students can come with laptops, cameras, and other filmmaking gadgets if available for group projects. For more inquiry, call 0706440150 and 0816847 They have to W. We are not a mistake in this cosmos. You're welcome to another season of Encounter for the next 10 Sundays and the next 10 Fridays. Listen to the following prophetic instructions and be intentional about them. Number one, please do well to watch every part of every video. Do not forward any part. Every part needs to be viewed. Number two, each Friday that comes after the Sunday you are watching this video now will be a video dedicated to the EU's discussed in the movie. The VG will take place between 12 a.m. and 1 a.m. Nigerian time, middle of the night. We advise you not to pray the prayers in the day. We advise you to join the VG live. We advise you not to sleep and then wake up and then join the VG. It's an instruction from God. You don't pray this kind of prayers in the day. You pray them in the night where you can begin to see effect right here and now. So please do not miss any VG online every Friday on this YouTube channel. Number three, each of the parts will begin with a three minutes worship section. Please, partake in the worship section. The worship section was an intentional instruction by the Spirit of God to open up the portal for your deliverance. Do not just keep the song and say it's getting too long. No. Partake in the worship section, sing all the songs, let your mind be lifted. You can pray in tongues as you sing while you go into the movie. This is not the normal movie you watch and say you are entertained. This is a deliverance clinic. And so please take these instructions to heart. Number four, do not forget the way of sacrifice. If you followed all the previous parts you've been watching, sacrifice against sacrifice is very key. And so listen to me. Part of the sacrifice is this. Subscribe to this channel, like this channel, and make sure you share this video. Make sure you do. Do you know why? If you are connected to a hotter and you are expecting to be delivered, you are expecting to be blessed, you are expecting for God to help you through this altar, you must be connected to the altar in the way you support in terms of subscribing, liking, and sharing. Many of you have this attitude of downloading the video on your phone and send it to people. We receive calls from them all over the world. They don't know us, they don't know our channel, they don't know we have other movies that we have produced. All they want to know is about the keeper, they don't know the source. Please, if you are going to recommend this film to people, let them know the source. Let them know where they can get it. Let them know where to get more. I'm not saying you should not download, but please try and stream online first, after which you can now download. But let people who you are telling about the movie know the ministry that produced it. Let them know the source where this movie is coming out. Through that, you are growing this platform to make other people to be blessed. So if you know you normally forget those things, do them right now. Share, like, and subscribe to this channel. Recommend this channel to people. Tell them how to get here. Finally, make sure you get a jotter and a pen to jot every prayer point and every revelation that comes from this movie. For churches who want to use this movie as a premiere or want to join with the videos live in their own church videos, please let your protocol officer be strategically positioned so that people don't get to injure themselves 
by the manifestation of power that they emit from this film. At the same time, don't forget that sacrificial giving tied with understanding is a way to open up the presence of God to your, to your cases. And so, as you are also praying and believing God, let there be a sacrificial giving, sacrificial sowing of seed with understanding. It's not a ritual. So that you can see that all these things work together prophetically for your good. You wonder how this brother saw this movie, how the brother may get to see this movie, all the inspiration behind this movie, look at the power behind it. It didn't come by just sitting down and doing nothing, it came by sacrificial giving to understand the sacrificial giving to anointings, to, 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 to men, to tap into revelation of God's mind. I pray that as you watch this movie, you shall be mightily blessed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you very much. that my family is engaged in money just now? I am not saying that. Okay. But then it is not bad to ask your people some questions. The guy I saw in my dream said that you are eating blood and that everything you have is on the foundation of blood. Huh? Who opened that door for you? I said who opened that door for you? Nobody. The door just opened by itself. Just opened by itself. Come here. Oh yeah. Get back into that place now. Get back into that place now. No, no, no. I think I... Ah! All I know is that you are from the gate. Then you're getting back to that place. You are going back there. That's where you belong. You are going back to the gate. That's not all. What about the... Shh. Who knows? If he's currently showing days today, we will do that in course. Your throne of 
of mercy is where we've come to bow down. Your throne of mercy is where we've come to bow down. Your throne of mercy is where we've come to bow down. Your throne of mercy is where we've come to bow down. Yes, we worship. Yes, you are. Yes, we worship the great I am. Yes, we worship. In a season of ancestral wickedness and time of altars, the destiny of great families rests on the shoulders of Christ's redemptive power through a young priest. His name, Brajan. Jesus died and lived again to shut their voices out, any demonic voice, from the gates of the grave, calling my name and virtues to the death. Go dump in Jesus' name. Yes, this. Yes. 
raise this throne of grace. Where is the throne of grace? Who, who sits on the throne of grace? Where is it located? How can I how can I assess this throne? Who do I see? Who do I talk to? Let us come boldly with boldness to the throne of grace that we might obtain mercy and find grace to help. Hello, Cynthia. I'm waiting for you here. We need to talk. Oh, you're almost here. All right. Cynthia. You scared me with your long voice into on water. What have I done? Tolu, it was actually you that scared me. Because I don't know what happened to you guys. The same question I keep asking myself. I have risen and racked my brain to find if there is any. But I can't find one. What is the problem? You see, the Lord has revealed me to you. That you are engaged to another sister. Thank you. And the sister saw me. And told me to move away from you. Engage? Sister? That can't be true. I don't have anybody in my life right now except you. Would you even say the truth? Of course not. I don't even expect the truth from you. Cynthia. Hey, maybe we'll discuss this later. So back between us. Don't do this to me, Cynthia. Ah. Leave him alone. Let him go. And I will leave you alone. I will return you to wherever I have picked you from. Hello. Hello, Mr. Atulu. How are you doing? See, save your greetings. I don't need them. What is the problem? Your your voice looks sounds weeping. What is the problem? Don't ask me stupid question. I give you 24 hours to come and pick the idiot you dropped in my place. That's too harsh. What is the matter? Your God has done more wickedly to me. So he or you does not deserve any kind gesture from me. Come and pick that idiot now. Wait, God is not wicked. What exactly is the matter? God is a blackmailer. He's a liar. He's a cheat. See, I think I will need to see you urgently. Something is wrong with you. I, I, will come, I'm, I will come to your place now. You can't come urgently. I have a place to go right now. Come in the evening and come with your ambulance, your rope, anything you just like, and come and take this idiot from my place. Oh, you are not around. I, I, I will come in the evening, no problem. You must be passing through a serious moment. Those words were too harsh. See, I think I really need to visit him now. Because, oh, bro, John, will you follow me? Bro, John, won't you say something? Abe, give me words. Let me go with something divine. Those words he said on the phone were too harsh. He was calling God a liar. Then warn him. Warn him against blasphemy. Whatever he cannot say to his father or to any authority, he should not say that to God. He must have been really depressed or disappointed about something. But there is no situation or temptation that might have happened to him that is not common to man. First Corinthians 10, 13. So what's the big deal? For it says, God will not tempt any man with anything he will not be able to bear. Then it simply means he can bear it. Instead of him getting hungry at God, let him be hungry at the situation. You see, the same energy that is channeling towards getting hungry at God, let him channel that energy and that anger to the situation and the problem. Very John, I need to go. Alright, I'll go with you. Philip, when last did you speak with your dad? That was the last time you called. Ah. Uh, huh. 
Don't tempt the Holy Spirit. Don't tempt the Holy Spirit. Don't tempt the Holy Spirit. Rotulu, where's your ambulance? Where are your robes? Ah, what ambulance? Which robe? See, can you please calm down? Just pick your patient away from my custody and go. I've tried enough. But why? Why? Why the such conclusion? Why? Why do you just instigate this recent decision? Nothing. I have tried. I have tried on my possible best. Let him go. God, God, a liar. You said some derogatory words about God. Yes, I can say that over and over again. Why will He create me and make life difficult for me? God makes life easy for everyone. Wait, what really happened? Is it because of your marital delay? Is it because you have no woman in your life? If it was that, I would understand. At least, I've been waiting since all these years. Now, I'm already 36. But the idea of learning against me will not be acceptable. Can you just calm down and explain there yourself? There is absolutely nothing to explain. <sighs> Why would God lie on you? <sighs> that is so unfair. Very unfair. Can you imagine? Everything between us has been good. Until a few hours ago, she said the Lord revealed to her that, that I have another woman I am keeping. And I'm a liar. That she should go away from me. Does, does God want me to marry him? <sighs> Is that it? Is that it, brother? Wait, who would you believe? Is it God or your ex? She's not my ex. She's my fiancé. But he just said she left you. She's going nowhere. She will return by the grace of God. I will not. Calm down. See, calm down. God is not a liar. He cannot give you anything that he cannot keep. You hear me? Please calm down. Maybe your ex does not know the meaning of that dream. Or probably she has tried to come up with something so that she can run away from you. Help me if you want me to help you. I told you, my elder sister, how on this same table. God will help us all. He will systematically reveal the problem in the family to us. And we are committed to solve it. Thank you. Oh, it's well. Hello, Dad. How have you been doing? <laughs> the throne of grace. Who is seated on it? Jesus, the Son of the Living God. The King of Grace. Why is it called the throne of grace? The throne is meant to give judgment, right? Okay. To exercise power and authority. But why is this one called the throne of grace? That is the biggest and the most valuable throne that has ever lived and existed. It is called the throne of grace because it is the throne that's made for all women and men, especially for the broken hearted, the weak, the worn out, the downcasted, and the helpless. Anybody, anybody. Anybody. Offenders don't appear boldly. They won't come before the throne by themselves. Except they are caught and brought there. How then will offenders, sinners, condemned, how will they come boldly? That is why it is the throne of grace, a throne where no one is condemned but acquitted. It is a throne of come as you are, just come. Hmm. The throne of grace. Huh? I would like to pay that throne a visit. Where is this throne located? Is it in Jerusalem? The throne was built and commissioned the very day the blood of sacrifice touched the ground at Golgotha. The day it was said it is finished, it was not only said that was finished though, the throne construction was also finished. It was his death that gave him the ticket. To even sit on the phone, let me stop here, I can feel a deep hurt for revelation. Words are full to my ears. I'm somehow finding satisfaction in your words. Uh, please don't stop talking, my son. Please don't stop. We have not answered my question. I said, where is this throne located? Where are you, Dad? 
I'm at home. Where exactly? In the living room. Good. The throne of grace is there. Have you ever heard of a throne that can be everywhere at every time? Have you heard of a throne that has been called into consciousness by just anybody? Just anybody. The throne is there. Philip, <laughs> please don't stop talking to me. You mean the throne is there with me? Dad, can you kneel down where you are? Say after me. I kneel before the throne of grace. I cast my crowns before the highest royalty. Dad, continue from there. You are already before the throne. I really want to appreciate you, Ma. Thank you. Ma, there is life and there is life. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. It just feels like I wasn't living before. Mm. Like I just started living now. Wow. wow. Yes. Ah, thank you, Ma. Oh, we thank God. God be praised. You see, that is the life of Christ. Mm. Honestly, that is the life of Christ. Anyone who does not have Christ has not lived. Your experience is summarized in the book of First John, chapter five, verse twelve, which mm. says, "He who has the Son mm. has life. He who does not have the Son of God has no life." So you're saying that it's possible for somebody to be living, and yet is not living. <laughs> yes, yes, it is very possible. Exactly. But we thank God that we are living. Amen. And that is why any sacrifice we offer to our God is called a living sacrifice. Mm. But any sacrifice offered by any sinner unto God oh, mm. is automatically called a dead, a dead sacrifice. sacrifice. That is, oh, sorry. Um, uh, hello? I don't understand what is going on around me now. As in, everything is just Changing. Changing. Yes, what, what, what about it? What is happening? Let us know. For instance, you see, I have gotten three contacts for jobs. I don't even know the one to choose. <laughs> People are just asking for my account details here and there, and they've been sending me money. <laughs> wow, these are great testimonies. Though. As in, People really want to associate with me now, hmm. unlike before. You know now, in fact, I can't even explain how. Oh, congratulations, ma. Congratulations, ma. Thank you so uh, much. This is good to know, and I enjoy with you. Thank you. <laughs> Bro, John, won't you say something? I know you guys will come for me. Must I talk? You, you must, must talk. talk. Oh. You must talk. Yes, you must talk. Because any little word from you, they are not just words. Uh -huh. They are hot chances. I congratulate you, mom. Thank you. But you know what? I know how all these things happened. Eh? Yeah. Ah, really? Yeah, tell me. I want to know. They were released at the gates of the grave. Hmm. You see, the favor of many people are no more in heaven. Hmm. Many people prayed for favor, influence, destiny, helpers. It has been released from the kingdom of God to their hands. And maybe for a while they enjoyed it for maybe two, three days or even a month. But due to carelessness or allegiance to demonic pattern, mm. these things are called to the gate of the grave. Mm. Those people now continue to preach God, God, bring my favor. And the gatekeeper of the grave keep laughing because he has received that favor mm. and is mm. in his own custody. Mm. He takes the resurrection power to call those things back mm. to life. We get buried before. Hmm. You see, it is not only human beings that are called to the gates of the grave. Your favor can be called and buried. Your influence can be called and buried. Your marital joy can be called and buried. Your relationships can be called and buried. And once that happens, the owner or the person begin to live life as if God does not exist. That is deep. So, so, so deep, like I'm I'm, 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 that we have to be angry because people are suffering under the influence of the gatekeeper of the grave. I can feel Kairos here. Let's, I'm paired up. Let's shout this loud and clear. Every of my virtues, every of my virtues, 
that has been called to the gate of the grave. That has been called to the gate of the grave. By Christ's resurrection power. I call it back to life. I pray in Jesus' name. Every of my virtues, every of my glory, every of my testimony that has been called to the gate of the grave. By Christ's resurrection power. The greatest principle. I call it back to life. Now. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. Listen, the same way they called it, you can also call it back. There are two people that have the authority to talk about this influence and favor. Favor was meant for you, but due to demonic influence, the gatekeeper of the grave called it and buried it. But you are the owner, and due to the principle of resurrection, you can also call it back. So resurrection now is the key to call back everything that is dead. So I'm going to decree silence loud and clear. I call out my favor. I call out my favor. I call out my influence. I call out my influence. I call out my testimony. I call out my testimony. I call out my lifting. I call out my lifting. That has been buried at the gate of grave by Christ's resurrection power. Rateke lebosha tarabola. Rateke lebosha kete lebosha tarabola. I call it out. I call it out. I call it out. My ministry testimony, my ministry lifting, my desires, my needs, my joy, my destiny outpass. I call you forth by Christ's resurrection power in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. And that I mean him and his power of his resurrection. And you see, that was altered. After 13 years that Apostle Paul has been in ministry, mm. if you think that the principle of Christ's resurrection power is a joke, think again. Mm. That's a very strong, powerful mystery. It's resurrection power. I call you back now in Jesus' name. Please subscribe. A place of rest, of course. Okay. I am fed up. Look at me. See what my life has become since I got to this house. And how does that supposed to be my problem? Eh? How am I responsible for that? I don't know. I mean, I'm just tired of everything. Richard, I'm a master's degree holder. And also from a well-to-do family. Look at me. Take a look at me. See how I look like a rejected and forsaken child. Wait, wait. How, how is that my offense? How is that my offense? Your offense is you refuse to take any step. I tell you to go to your family and ask them questions so that we will at least know what the problem is. But you wouldn't do that. Okay. 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 <laughs> we will continue to pray till we get solution. Pray? On what? On faulty foundation? Please tell me. Tell me exactly what you want us to pray about. Okay, okay, darling. I promise I will take the necessary step at the appropriate time. Okay? Okay. Okay. When you have done the needful and you have valid information, 
But what is happening in your family? You can call me back. Till then, good day. Hey, no, 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 you won't do that. No, 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 Richard, something is wrong with you. No, no. Something is wrong with you. Runke. Runke. You know how much your dad and I have labored on you? Eh? Every one of you, our children, is second degree older. Sinuola, your elder sister, is now a PhD older. And we thank God. Every one of them is doing great in their different fields. Except you. You that went to marry a bad husband. Mama, my husband is not bad. It's just his people I perceive to be evil. What is the difference? There is no difference at all. He's not bad. But he's people. As a responsible mother, I can't keep him in my house. You have to go back to your husband's house. I can't go to that house. That place is hell. Nonsense. And I remember vividly that I warned you not to marry that man. But you said it's God's will. Abby? It is well. All I want him to do is to go and see his people so that they can at least tell us where the problem is. None of the women they married in their family is okay. We are just living in fear. <laughs> is that is that not enough for you to know that that family is evil? Eh? One of the most brilliant of my children. Ah! See what marriage has turned you into. Eh? Everything will be all right. Everything will be all right, Mom. I believe. I know. Ah! I think it's high time I face my dad myself. My wife was right. Huh? All of us in Oweye family, we are just in trouble. My brother's wife is not fine. Everybody is dead, so to speak. Enough is enough. No, enough is enough. Somebody must be ready to face my dreadful father. We, we, we cannot continue like this now. Okay. I think I'll face him. Yes, I, I think I'll face him.
I, I have no, I have no other project for now. This is my project. This is my, is my desire. This is my outcry. This is my life vision. That I may see and experience the throne of grace. I abandon Philip and my wife for now. For now, they are inconsequential. Nothingness, nothingness makes meaning. Nothing else matters to me for now. Where, oh Lord, is your throne of grace? I, I am waiting. I want to, I want to experience your throne of grace. to experience your throne of grace. I kneel before it. Bring your throne, Lord. I'm waiting. I'm waiting, Lord. Uh. Uh. Hello. From where? From Ibadan. Who are you here to see? Um, Mr. Way. Mr. Way, does he know you are coming? Well, I am not a visitor. He's my father-in-law. I'm his, his son's wife. Uh, even at that, um, he doesn't allow his children to visit him. So please, oh, his children's wife. I, I don't think you can see him. Ah, please, allow me. I need to see him. It's very urgent. Please. Okay, you know what? I will allow you to see him. I will just tell him somebody from Ibadan. Maybe when you see him, you can find out maybe he's from you, you or whatever. Do you Please come and see him. Thank you. Come that on. will be better. Thank come you. Come Thank on. you. Come on. Hello. Hello. Hello, sir. There's somebody here to see you, sir. Let her come. Okay. Okay. All right, sir. Yes, thank you. He wants to see you. Oh, thank you. But you have to enter first. Thank you. Just wait for this. Yes, thank you. Hello. 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 Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Stand up. Stand up. Thank you, sir. Are you the visitor that come to see me from Ibadan? Yes, sir. I am wrong here where your son. Ah, okay. uh, what did you come to do? Yes, sir. My my husband. I am sorry, sir. I, I need prayer, sir. I guess you don't have anything to say. Do I look like a pastor? I am very sorry, sir. That was a slip of tongue, sir. I came to see you. You are seeing me? Wait, did you tell your husband that you are coming to see me? Uh, yes. And no, I didn't. I came on my own, sir. Oh, I thought as much. Go on. Sir. There is, there is a lot of problem in my family that is not palatable, sir. I've been having nightmares of people running after me, saying that I am eating blood and that 
the foundation of this family is built on the blood of the innocent people, sir. Okay, go on, I'm listening. Yes, sir. I came to ask for your help, sir. Am I the one you are seeing in your dream? Do they mention my name as part of those who kill innocent people? No, that's not what I'm saying, sir. I thought since you are our father, that you'll be able to shed more light on the issue, sir, so that we, you can provide solutions, sir. Leave my house. You have overstayed your welcome. I, I do not allow family to come into this house. <sighs> sir, aren't you supposed to welcome your children? I mean, are you happy with everything that is happening around us? Leave before I change my mind. Good luck! Sir. Good luck! Yes, sir. Good luck! Yes, sir. sir. Please, sir. Yes, sir. Take her out. Sir. Not to marry this man. <laughs> Even on engagement and wedding day, he wore straight face. But... <laughs> ah. Now I know that indeed there is a fire on the mountain. No wonder Richard cannot go to his father. Huh? <laughs> you see, I don't have any because it's obvious that these people, they don't care about your welfare and they can do anything to get you out of their lives. Mama, mm -hmm. my father-in-law practically sent me out of his house. Ah. What about his wife? Have you forgotten that he has no wife? It's obvious that a person like that cannot keep a woman. <laughs> ah. <laughs> John, see what are we really going to do about this mental manager? See, he's really depressed. Well, I really don't know what to say about him for now. But um, he truly had that dream of seeing someone telling her that she's his wife. Then there is more. Mm, I know there is more. I know there is more. But, uh, Bro John, if you can just talk to him. I know with that, he could be encouraged or probably plan a discussion with his fiancée. It's, it's, it's not a small issue, but we'll find time to try and go and visit him. And then when I hear one or two words from him, you know, possibly the Holy Spirit might want to say one or two things. See, I am really concerned because he's the one helping me to take care of scam. No, he's the one. Amen. Uh, 
Hello, sir. Hello, Richard. How stupid and gullible could you be? Have you gone up? Are you really ready for my fury? So, 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 sorry, I don't understand, sir. What have I done wrong? How could you? How could you allow your wife to come into my house? My house. I, I, I'm very, very sorry, sir. I, I'm really, really sorry. She didn't tell me she was caught. Oh my God. I, I'm sorry, Daddy. I'm sorry, sir. I, I will make amends, sir. Am I responsible for everything going on in your family? It is dangerous for her. Whatever that might have transpired between both of you. Don't let it come to my table. Sir, sincerely, I, I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Daddy. I'll, I'll make a note, sir. Nonsense! What is wrong with you, okay? What is wrong with her? Why, why would she... I don't know what is wrong with her. Huh? I'm doing all this to protect her and she's doing this to me. Imagine. Nobody's not going to... Oh, God. Oh. Mike. Mike. Who's that? Who? Where is this coming from? This, this light is too bright. I can't, I can't even see anything. What's this light? They looked at him and were lighting, and their face were not ashamed. Is that a throne? The throne of grace? Is this the throne? Was that how long you can wait on me to see my face? I did not come because you are a saint. I came because you seek after me. I search for the seekers. <sighs> Poor me. Poor me, I slept off. After waiting and waiting, <sighs> I slept off. <sighs> you didn't know it was your body that slept. Your spirit was still very much alive in my presence. Your spirit was thirsty. What do you want? Ah, what do I want? What do I want? I don't even know what I want. What do I want? I'm illuminated. I have the spirit of understanding. My face is lightened. Ah, Jesus. I'm lightened. Ah, ah, God, Lord, help me to keep seeking you. Ah, the throne. I've seen the throne. I've seen the throne of grace. Wrong, okay? Wrong, okay? Have you spoken to your husband since the time you returned from his father's house? No, I haven't. Why? Eh? I am not interested. Though he has been sending me DMs and messages, but I ignore them all. That should not be now. You have to speak to him. <sighs> Is he the one calling you? Yes, he's the one. Hey, answer him. Make his call. Hello? Uh, hello, dear. I am not your dear. Okay, what is wrong with you? Why are you proving so stubborn? You taught me to be. Okay. I'm sorry, okay? Can you come home so that we can settle this amicably? Is that question supposed to be directed to me? Ah, <sighs> don't care why all this. Why? See, I, I take responsibility for all my errors. Please, will you come home? See, I am not coming back to the house. Since I've been here, there have been no nightmares. I've been sleeping like a baby. So I am not coming back. Please, leave me alone. Good day. 
โรงเคโรงเคใครชิโนกะมุสิกิโอ้โหโรงเค Take it easy with him. You have to take it easy, h e h This is not your final b u s t o b o Ah ah, no. Don't think that I will allow you to stay here for long, because you have to go back to your husband's house. You have to go back. Oh. You have to go back to him. Even if you send me out, I will not return to that place. My survival is paramount. Jude, I do hope you are doing something about the Prince of Tyros, because you cannot obviously go back to Scam without having the right information to engage when you meet him again. Yes, I now know Tyros. Tyros is not a person. Mm. Yeah, it's a system that is meant to invade all the children of disobedience. Mm. <laughs> you know what that means, Jude. Dude, what? Well done, no way. Well <laughs> But you see, I want to know more about this Prince of Tyros. And by the way, I am resuming at my place of work very soon. Congratulations, ma. Thank you. And as for me, I think for some reasons, I need to go and see my father at home. Mm, that's very really thoughtful of you. Mm -hmm. I was about to say that because for a while, you did not check the ring. You left him for a long time. No, no, I left him with the Holy Spirit. <laughs> hello, ma. Hello, how are you doing, ma? What's the matter? I didn't even hear about it. Ah, what about your girl? But why, ma? Why? No, of course you have a choice. You only decided to do what you want. But you have to go back home. You have to. It is the devil that is setting this tragedy so that there will be a disagreement between both of you, and that will not make you to be able to face the EU on Grand. You have to go back home, and when you go back, I will find time to come and visit and hear from you. Hmm. All right. Thank you. And who was that? That's my boss's wife. I think they have a little disagreement. But she should not leave her husband's house. She should not leave her home. See, John. You need to find time and go there to the city. You need to go. So I'm putting the baton back to you. I believe that God will help you. God will help you. Don't change your eyes. <laughs> that is why you are in this family. I believe God will help you to counsel them, to pray with them, to resolve this crisis. I yeah. will just only go there and hear from them and you know just visit them. But I believe God to help you. You know you are more mature. John. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That's what. That's Maybe true. I'll take you along when we are going. I know, you know, he has seen you with a mentor. Ah, <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah, ah. Ah, ah. Oh, my God. Mm. 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 Yes, who is it? Ha! Philip! 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 I'm so happy to see you! I'm so happy to see you! Oh my god! Daddy, I had the plan to come already. Not until you called and you told me that you had something beautiful to share with me. Ah! The throne of grace! The throne of grace! It is, it is an experience every believer must visit an experience. Throne of grace! That the worry really ah, really I was here. Mm -hmm. I was kneeling down. Mm -hmm. I was here. I knelt here. Yeah. Ha! Don't know, Chris. Philip. Then you come down and tell me this thing. What the really experience happened? I had. I cannot be. I cannot be calm. I cannot be good to. to I, 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 I want to bust out. I want to. I want to bust. Philip. Sir. I was kneeling down here. Mm -hmm. I raised my hand. I raised my hand and I was praying. I was begging God. I was saying that the children of grace come to me here. You know, you told me. Yes, I that remember. That can come to anyone, anywhere. Yes, I, I remember. Was, oh God, I was standing down. I was praying. I was praying. I was saying, God, let it all come here. And then after a while, I was I was there for <laughs> for, for one day and the all to the night. And then I stepped off. Off. 
When I saw the light, I saw a great white light, Philip. I saw the light. And, I, and it was so blinding, I could open my eyes. And I saw a great white stone here. When I was sleeping, it was like someone said, Mike, Mike. Mm -hmm. Then, I opened my eyes. I saw that great white light. I couldn't open my eyes. It was blinding. Here. The express happened here. Oh, Jesus. I couldn't open my eyes. I, I don't even know what to say. Like... I struggled to open my eyes. I saw a great white throne. I don't even know what to say. Like, I, what really now happened at the throne of grace? Philip, that call is... John. Philip, call John. Hey, call this Veronica. is really serious was... and funny at the same time. Let them my, come my, year. my God. Something did. My God. I realized that, 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 that experience in um, 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 uh, Hebrews 4 that is just the first part. Ah, okay. There is something deeper. I was still sit down to study the second part. Oh God. Hello, Brother John. The true of grace. Hey, you need to see what happened to. Mm. Hey, like, I don't even know what to say. I'm speechless. Please subscribe. There is fire on the mountain. Everything you said is what it is. Like there is serious fire. And he refuses to hone up. He's being placid about the whole matter. Oh? This is a serious issue. If your father actually treated her that way, then there is serious cause for that. Okay, I, I agree. I agree with you. Sincerely, I believe it was God that rescued her that day. Going to my father's house? Smart way. It's a no-go area. None of us, I mean none of us, even my brother's wife, dares it. But she could go there and come out. I believe it was just good because he doesn't want anybody around him at all. But, but why is that? Well, well, I cannot tell. I don't know too much. But who more has it that um, the death of my mom has something to do with him? I heard that he used her for sacrifice. Yeah! <laughs> and in soup, Bro John, this is not the kind of matter you should keep quiet. Please! Don't keep quiet! No wonder various dreams and nightmares. Huh. <sighs> the chance you have given the devil is too much. Oh, you have given the devil a lot of chances. You have to let us know everything about your father. I don't know what you want me to say. Because I, I don't know so much. The day you were sharing the revelation about um, um, a sacrificed, um, I think you said sacrificed graduate or something. I was shocked. Because I, I thought all was over. I couldn't, I couldn't fix anything. Ha. Altars have been built every day. When you talk of altars, when you talk about the things that our fathers have done, altars is not just about what they have done in the time past or the sins and wickedness of our fathers in the time past. Altars are being even built today and can be upgraded. Huh. And what are we going to do now? You see, we are going to pray. Mm. We have to pray. Mm. After which, you will need to visit your dad again. And this time around, it's not going to be your wife, but you, sir. Who? <sighs> you? Me. The man. You, you, you must be joking. Me. To go to smart way. I yeah. ah, like that. Ah, ah. Ah. The last time I set my eyes on him <sighs> was on our wedding day. Ah, I like that. Hey. Ah, 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 ah. Me. No. You will have to go. Is it not your father? <laughs> this is not a matter to toy with. We have to go to him. And my mother also has a lot to do about this case. She has to be involved in this matter. We have to go, sir. <laughs>
no, you don't understand. No, no, you don't understand. If the sister actually belongs to you, she will definitely come back to you. I want you to find time to ask for forgiveness from God. It's possible this is a way he wants you to expose something to you. When am I getting married? I'm not getting younger. I have informed my brother about it. And I believe the God dwelling in him. See, let us not just be concerned about how you are going to get married or when you are going to get married. Let's focus on what is causing the delay. Because what is causing the delay may eventually scatter the marriage if you get married. Hmm. See, it is not normal for men of your age to experience what you are experiencing consistently or repeatedly. Neither is it normal for your sisters too. I haven't gone to many conferences. They keep telling me I am in the waiting room. No, 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 no. See, waiting room exists. Wasting room exists. We have some demons that are called time wasters. Please, pray for me. See, my prayer is meaningless now. Yeah, let us spiritually diagnose the source of this delay. Then we can now know spiritual way to engage. Hmm. I feel lighter. I feel relieved. But please, don't let, don't stay too long. All right, it won't be long. Can I see Yes, but it's very careful. Uh -huh. can go no problem. <laughs> 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 Come on, you recognize me again. Of course you will. Don't forget you are not friends. His name is called Tyros. Ah, what disrespect! I am the prince of Tyros! <sighs> Hope you know that your days are numbered in this place. I did not just come here on my own. It is in alignment to my sister that I drawn me here. <sighs> And alignment to another system you destroyed. Then you die. You die. I welcome each and every one of you to my divine class. We are be sharing a deep mystery of the kingdom called. The throne of grace. It's a pity my wife is not here. But when she comes back, she will hear her own version. By the way, by the way, why, 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 why are you so few? Is this the best number I can get? Go and call your friends! Call your friends, call your neighbors, call everybody. Where is that um, boss that um, offered to give um, Philip scholarship? Call everybody. Let them come and hear. You better start with the people you have here. You start with us. What are you talking about? Let them come! Let everybody come. Oh God. Skinda! What are you still waiting for? What are you waiting for? Call everybody! This place must be full. I'm happy to see all of you. I have discovered the finest, the greatest, the biggest throne on earth that ever existed. It is called the throne of grace. It is a mobile throne that can come to anybody that desires grace. I have never seen a throne where the offender comes and is neither condemned. The throne 
It's both for the godly and the ungodly. The tune is just calm as you are. No one never has closed this door. It is a throne you come to when you are weak. It is a throne where armies and Christian soldiers return to. For the fueling and the assurance. Hmm. For the sinner. It is a throne of mercy and pardon. When you are not deserving, go there. Um, please, where exactly is this throne? Because I need it urgently. Everyone is the throne. It is the throne where you visit at your greatest time of need. You just kneel with an angry heart and cry to God. Say, Heavenly Father, Come home to your throne and begin to tell me why you have come. Bro Mike, what exactly happened to you? Encounter. Has encountered the throne of grace. It was brought here. Here. Right here in my sitting room when I sought it earnestly with a humble heart. I know there are many battles. There are many unanswered questions. But I tell you, the first point of contact is the throne of grace, where you obtain mercy and find grace in the time of need. I really think I need this throne of grace. If it can take anybody in, I need it. Maybe all they now come boldly. Let us begin to communicate to our desires unto him. I told you in my truth. It's here with us. The throne is here. Let us begin to communicate our heart's desires. Let us come boldly before the throne of mercy. That we might obtain mercy and find grace. I don't do such. I'm not a husband snatcher. They must be mixed up somewhere. Oh. We will prepare and we shall seek the face of God. But you have to face sin. You have to face sin. If you don't bind a strong man, you cannot plunder the goods. This devil is a shit. A very big one at it. Or isn't it obvious that every institution the Lord has formed, every system that the Lord has made, is also being copied by Him? What is this Sukubos of a thing? What does it really mean? Since the beginning, and their family Sukubos. So, it is not just to one, but to all their male children in their family. Sukubos is a spiritual wife, like, more like a female demon, according to understanding. Sadokas, what are you doing here? Go back to where you came from. This is no go area for you. Have you seen the picture I sent to you? Yes, boss. Get in.
This is where we've come to bow down Your throne of mercy is where we've come to bow down Your throne of mercy is where we've come to bow down Your throne of mercy is where we've come to bow down Yes, we worship Yes, you are Yes, we worship the great I am Yes, we worship Bye.